So up until this point, all the videos that Ronza and I have brought to you have really been about reports. We've been creating reports and all the content for these reports. Now let's talk about dashboards. Dashboards, first of all, are only going to be usable and editable inside the Power BI web app. So nothing that we do in the desktop is really going to be useful until we bring it into the web app. So Power BI dashboards are these kinds of nebulous uh, canvases that we can place pieces or entire pages of reports. And the idea is you could just kind of, kind of go over one, scroll down, you could view it on your phone, you could view it through the Power BI uh, app on your, on your iPhone or your Android. You can uh, share it with people like you would uh, something through OneDrive or things like that. So there's lots of ways that you're going to be able to use these dashboards. But to create one, we have to start in the web app. So in the web app, we choose the workspace where we want to start build this from. So I'll start in the My Workspace, because why not? And in the top right corner, we will click the Create button. And we'll say, oh, I want a new dashboard. We'll give it a name. And we'll click Create. And that's pretty much it. We've created ourselves a dashboard. Now, another way that this can be done, if you are in a report, you could actually go to pin something. And when you pin something, as we'll learn in a later video, you can actually create a new dashboard directly from here. So it would be possible to create a new dashboard from uh, the starting of pinning items. But however you do it, you've created a dashboard. One other thing to quickly show you is some of the settings you might want to utilize with your dashboard. So across here on the right, you can see there's some various things, including a settings button. And when you click the settings button, you can change the name. You can turn on Q&A, which is kind of the ability to ask questions of your dashboard in a more uh, colloquial sort of manner. Although, quite frankly, I haven't had much success for it, but it's, it's in development. It'll be better as you probably use it. And there's also this dashboard tile flow where everything will kind of automatically resize uh, it'll adjust it automatically and stuff like that. So you can turn these features on and change them if you want to. Here you can also delete any dashboards that you don't need. So if I didn't need dashboard one anymore, I could simply delete it and it will be gone. So we can create dashboards from the web app only. You also can add things to the dashboard from the web app and be able to delete them. And none of this is going to be possible inside the desktop app. So this is where we will start to use the web app specifically for our dashboards.